Yeah. I assume, and here I'm going to show off a little bit. I actually am very knowledgeable about the game. No. He, he's he's talking about um, Drago turkeys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing my homework. <laughs> Right. So, first of all, I wanted to start this entire session or mm. guide, so to speak, um, by mm. establishing your history with gaming. Mm. That will be quite quick. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you could take a quick moment and tell us about your earliest memories, oh. when you knew about <laughs> gaming, what sorts of mm. games you've played up until today. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I remember as a child, mm -hmm. um, I don't, it's not a specific incident but just an overriding impression that my mum disapproved quite strongly of video games gaming and things like that mm -hmm. so I know my brother who's three years older than me so when I was maybe like eight and he was about 11 that's three years right yeah <laughs> Matt, um he um he went to play with a boy down the street who had a computer and on it, he had some games, and I can't remember what, but maybe like Minecraft and The Sims. Oh. Does that sound right? Those are two games that exist. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, great. We're off to a good start. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so he, he used to go down the street to play with this other boy, and my mum disapproved, but sort of let him go, because I think it was sort of like, well, better that he do it there and kind of get it out of his system than that I have to engage with him in any possible way and actually buy games and whatever. So, do you see what I mean? And then when I Wait, was... that's your history with games. No, I'm, what I'm saying, I'm setting the scene. <laughs> right, okay. I'm, I'm storytelling here. Context, yes. And yes. um, so that's the sort of like family context of my first um, interaction with um, gaming. Mm -hmm. um, I think when I was about 10 or 11. Mm -hmm. Pokemon, uh, those little Pokemon color little console things oh, came out. Oh, Game Boys. Yeah, Game Boy, that's the one. Mm. Sorry, yeah, so it was a Game Boy, but the game I played on it was Pokemon. We only <laughs> had one game, Pokemon Blue, oh. and me and my brother played it to, like, death. Okay. <laughs> and um, he did it first, obviously, because he was older than me and he was a boy, so we always got to do everything first. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got it when he'd finished it, mm -hmm. and I really loved it and got really obsessed with it for like one summer and that is the only that's like actually there's one more game that i've played and got obsessed with mm -hmm. which was the like sonic the hedgehog game yes. that you could play online and you yes, could like make him jump over favorite. things and go into caves and things like that yeah, yeah, yeah. um so yeah so I, I do have history of in my life having one or two times when i've played a kind of computer game type thing mm. and got really into it and got obsessed with it for a while but it tended to be the kind of thing where you could like get into it for a bit and then or like eh, the pokemon one you had to go all the way through these different levels and things and you were trying to like reach the end of it i guess there was okay. more of a like quest element to it but um that's it and then since the age of like 14 i have not played any computer games wow so this is going to be a very full-on experience for you yes wow yes i'm okay. terrified Quick question. Would mm. you like to have the music on your ear as while we're doing this? No, Would you it ease it. you off? Would you feel better about having No, I'm good. I've got the wine. You keep okay. the music. <laughs> <Very well. laughs> I feel like I'm getting the better half of the deal. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, first things first. Mm. The game that I will introduce you today is called Dofus, mm -hmm. or as the creator intended it to be called, a Dofus. He I'm sorry, made what's it. The difference? Already he lost. made it sound. He intentionally designed it so it sounds like absolutely nothing, while having some sort of relevance to eggs, les oeufs. So <sighs> dofus. Uh, so he wanted okay. to create something that doesn't exist, that is ridiculous and preposterous, right? That has some sort of relevance to real life. It's probably and one of those things that if you're French, you'd be like, huh. ha ha ha, that's really. But cool. the most that you, even if you spoke French, the most is you'd kind of be like, huh. Yeah. See what you did there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy who created <laughs> it actually, he said this himself multiple times. Mm. He is absolutely lazy. And he's just okay. looking for quick things mm -hmm. to move on with his ideas. I'm starting to see why you like the game. <laughs> okay. I'm starting to see that you're already on the roast. <laughs> okay. it's, what, it's what people come for. <laughs> right, I'm okay, going to say okay. this to everyone. Please be nice to me. 
<laughs> I thought you were just going to be like, please be nice then. Like. No, no, no. Mm. So the whole theme of the game mm. revolves around playing in a mystical world, yeah. doing quests, interacting with people, mm-hmm. and doing things within the game in order to collect these mythical eggs, the dofus. Right. Okay. If you equip them, they give you magical powers and improve your ability to do things. That is not the s- attitude. You've already said equip <laughs> them, and I don't know what right, in okay. God's name it could possibly mean to so equip when they are, an egg. When they are in your baby possession, baby steps. As we were, okay, baby steps. <laughs> You gather them. You gather the eggs. Them, the okay. possession of them. So hang on, hang on. You, mm. You're not even... What? Like, is it a world? Is there, like, a yes. universe in Dota? Yes. Like, is it... It is a is universe. Is it real world and there's people playing in it? It or is, is it a, a universe, completely separate world? Completely separate world okay. called the Cosmos. Okay. It's a word for cosmos. Oh, it's so lame. <laughs> yeah, it's so lame. <laughs> <laughs> you can Carry see the on. laziness behind Carry the writing. <laughs> but still, it's called the Cosmos. Mm-hmm. And the idea of it is there are gods that play here. Yeah, okay. And okay. They, there is a physical realm called uh-huh. the World of Twelve. Okay. Why? Because <laughs> in the beginning there were 12 it's like classes. Lord of the Rings mixed with like. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. And yes, 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 okay. yes. So there's a mythical world mm-hmm. called the Cosmos, mm-hmm. and then there's a physical place within the Cosmos called the World of Twelve, which is where okay. we will be playing, okay. where we'll be exploring, uh-huh. where we'll interact with monsters that live and inhabit some areas. Okay. And within this world. You have to find eggs. You have to gather the eggs. Yes. And then you do what with the eggs? Just the possession of them grants you special powers. Oh. So they make you better within this world. You can do more things. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And then ultimately the point is what? what? Is it like, sorry, I, I don't them. want to sound too de- negative. Catch them all, just like right Pokemon now. that yeah, you've played. Is it, is it like... Can you win Do- Can you complete Dofus? It is not a type of game that you can win, finish, or complete. <clears throat> okay. It is like an adventure that keeps on increasing and getting better and better with time. They add content to it right. and things like that. So it's yeah. not something that is finite. Okay. You explore it, mm-hmm. you walk around, you interact with facets of it. There are things that you can complete. <laughs> you see the chat. No. Sorry. The way you're describing this game makes me not want to play it. <laughs> Guys, if you want to help him in the chat and like embellish or explain it better, please feel free. Um, okay. Okay, so... All right, I'm with you. I'm with you. Sure. Okay. Before so you... So s- who, who, mm. do you get to like choose? Because I know you... Here's the things I've picked up from mm-hmm. listening, right? Um, There are different servers. That's an aspect I've always found very confusing. Mm-hmm. And... I've also picked up that you have l- multiple characters and that, that that in itself is in some way controversial and was like introduced at some point. Like everyone used to just have one character and then something was changed and now people have multiple characters. Is that no, right? When they started that, they didn't have as many characters as today. Uh-huh. So they had 12 fixed characters. These are classes. Think of mm-hmm. them as uh, in a sort of mystical realm. They're yeah. like the goblins or whatever in okay. Lord of the Ring. They're a spe- special type of monsters uh-huh. or uh, like the archers, the humans, the healers. Okay, um, okay. And they all have different like skills. Yes. So you want yes. to get yourself a little posse. So, for example, you've heard of the panda before. Is that the panda? This is the panda. So it's a creature that has special oh, abilities like really carrying things and throwing them away. Can I ask a quick question right mm. from the off? Why does it have boobs? Because it's just, female. Is that necessary? <laughs> Are they all female? You get to choose when we start okay. playing the game and create characters. Okay. So the first thing you do is you set up your account. <clears throat> and yeah. let's say, let's skip through this part right now. It's okay. a bit boring. Mm-hmm. Let's take one of my accounts mm-hmm. and create a, a new character in it. So you get to experience <laughs> yeah, okay. the creation but of is, the game. Again, isn't there... Um, oh my God, I feel like you're jumping straight in and I'm... I know that people watching Ask already your know questions, this is yeah. Right, but like you talk about different classes mm-hmm. and like what class you're going to play. Yes. That's my question. Okay. What so I'll that? just go back to the question you've asked earlier about servers and the confusing nature of them. So because this is an MMORPG, which stands for Mass Multiplayer mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Role Play Game. I knew that, actually. It is based around <laughs> having a server where people can log in and interact with each other, sell each other things, compete yeah, okay. with each other, 
help each other with right. fights and things like that. So yes. it is online. Uh -huh. so every little person you will see when you create your account yeah. is an actual person behind their desk yeah. that are connected, that are trying to mm -hmm. achieve things okay. within the game. And everything so that is no generated. So there's no like um, sort of c computer characters in it, or are there? There are, but they don't. You, you can tell fight which them, you deal with them, but they're fixed. Mm -hmm. You can tell which ones they are. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So Sorry, before you even <laughs> create a character, yes. you have mm -hmm. to decide where, like the group of people mm -hmm. that play in that server, play together and don't interact with other servers. So they are separate. Think of them like rooms. Right, yes, got you. Sorry. Like there is Back a school the yeah. with classes. Uh -huh. And yeah. depending on which class you enter, you can mm -hmm. only interact with the students mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. and you can choose them on the basis of language. So mm -hmm. we have an international server. Mm -hmm. We have a handful of French server because mm -hmm. it's the biggest mm -hmm. population. Mm -hmm. So they ha they have to have multiple in order to sustain mm. the various. Right, because I was gonna ask, like, mm. doesn't there come a point where it's just full? Because that's how servers work. Yeah, there right. are points where they are full, and we've seen that recently. They were laggy as heck. <laughs> mm. <laughs> when there's a big influx of players, you can feel it Got on you. the server itself. Okay. So there's one international server, a handful of French servers, mm -hmm. and a couple of special ones with special rules. Special. Yeah, so this one, for example, called Draconiros, mm. is a, let's say global, but really yeah. it is French, mm -hmm. with a special rule where you can only have one character. Uh, you can only play with one character. Is that like having it character. on hard mode? Like, is it more difficult? It's a different type of play where you log in this mm. one character and everything you have to do with others. You have mm. to collaborate. So I think everything. you might have said this already, but just mm. to check I understand. If you're in Telkasha, mm. um, does that mean that people who are in Imagiro, mm. you can't see them in the game or interact with them in yes. the game? Right. So they're basically like copies of the game. There are copy instances of the game, yeah. but once people enter in, they diverge and yeah, they become of, completely yeah, yeah, distinct. Yeah, so the prices okay. of things might be different from here to here. That makes the sense. The number of people that play can differ, the languages they speak. Yeah. But in the server I play Talkasha, I have four accounts that I log at once, so uh -huh. I can do most things I need on my own. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But on Draconeros, you can only have one character. But you're also, when you say you do most things on your own, you're also in a guild, aren't you? Yes. Mm. So these are groupings. We will see them later. Can I just say that so far you have not given me enough brownie points for That's the amazing, quite yeah. impressive amount of information <laughs> that I relate. Yeah, that is outstanding. <laughs> yeah, you no, have I'm been kidding, picking up a lot. Um, and there's this epic yes, server. Right. What, what is an epic server? It's a, um, it's a server that is on uh, steroids. It's uh, enhanced. Mm. So everything that so you do gives you back a lot more. Why isn't everyone on that? Because it comes with a special rule, which mm. is if you lose a fight, you're dead. Your <gasps> character gets deleted and everything, and you have to start from scratch. Oh, so high stakes. It's high stakes. Right, but so what happens if you die on one of the other ones then? If you die on the other ones, your character just dies. You lose some energy points, which we will see later, but you mm -hmm. continue playing. The adventure does not stop with your okay. death. So there is no so high stakes on regular lose. servers, okay. only in that one in particular. Okay. <laughs> You need to run back to your, to previous, your previous spot, spot. and okay. continue what you're doing. Yes. Okay. So, uh, which server would you like to play? Right. Okay. So I've got my head around the server thing mm -hmm. and the characters thing. So that's telling you that you've got four characters mm -hmm. in the uh, Talgasha. Talgasha. Yes. Okay. All right. And this is a single account. And server. you're going to make me a character. Yes. Which server would you like? Looking at the. I want to be the same one as you. Okay, so we go to Tarkasha. Otherwise, you know, <laughs> I'd miss you. Okay, <laughs> very well. So all you have and to do... And then I can keep an eye on you. All you have to do is double-click the server. And here's the interesting bit, is you're faced with this. Normally, if you create a new account, mm -hmm. you won't see any little characters here. You will see an empty slot where you get to yeah. create a new character. Oh, so thanks, would you like That's would you nice. like to take it from here? Um, so sorry, I wasn't a hundred percent listening because I was actually just sure. um, noticing Flammable's nice comment. Okay, <laughs> just enjoying that. Say so again. <laughs> we have picked the server, which is called Tarkasha. Yeah, we are there now. Yeah, okay. This is the creation uh -huh. of a character uh -huh. where we will answer all the questions you had about classes. Oh, what classes okay. are out there? Right. What does each one of them do? Mm -hmm. And you pick the one that you vibe with the most, and then you create. Okay. Very well. Um, so I'm handing over the mouse right. to you. You are. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. So where it so says create new creation. character. Yeah, so this okay. is what you do normally. Oh, it's and this all is what happening. you're faced with. Right. You have a selection. You can scroll and okay. see all the classes available. Oh, this one's cute. Yeah. 
Um, you don't want to say that if Crafty is around. Uh, okay. So you can... Oh, no, no, I don't like that one. You can keep... Although, assassin sounds kind of badass. Right, hold on. We're not looking at the <laughs> you images. You told me to just go on yeah, to it and yeah, click through it. We're not looking at just the images. Well... What you want to do is take a moment. Here's the thing. Mm. This is the classical experience that every new person to the game will face. Mm. You have a bar at the bottom. Yeah. Where you can see all the images of all the classes. There's okay. 19 okay. now. Okay, that's a lot. Yes. So, And you can choose whether okay. you want the male format mm -hmm. or the girl looking one. Mm. And then you can read up on each one of them. Let's start from the first one. It's called uh -huh. Iop, Reckless Warrior. Mm -hmm. So his strong points is that he is a damage dealer. Yeah. Inflicts a large amount of damage on single target or across an area of effect. Okay. And you can see here some images of him doing damage. Okay. He is one of the biggest damagers in the game. Okay. The other quality he has is he's a buffer. He can increase his own damage, his own action points, which we will see later, or the ability to do little tasks. Okay. Every task mm -hmm. you do within a fight mm -hmm. costs action points. Okay. So this guy can buff himself. Can I, mm. um... Again, I was just going to comment on the appearance, really. I mean, that is just terrible. Um, so, position it, leap towards the target and repels or attracts it. So, does some of them not do these things at yes. all? Or is it just a degree to which they no. do it? They they mostly can do some things like that. And what does but the difficulty each one, thing mean? Each one has a specialty as a class. Like, right, human right, right, beings right, right. can run. Yeah. Sounds like they can trunks. jump. But we can't fly as human beings, so we mm -hmm. don't have that ability. So the difficulty here just tells you how easy or difficult it is for mm -hmm. a complete beginner to learn how to play the class. <laughs> Some are more complex <laughs> than other. Um, yeah, this was yeah. an inside joke by the developers. Do you mm -hmm. know the yogurt Yop? You oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why they called it Yop. Okay, but <laughs> like, what's the reference to Like, it doesn't look it doesn't like yogurt. It doesn't have any relevance to yogurt. It, it, it's just lazy I think writing. They just don't that works understand really well. the concept of what an actual joke is. <laughs> I mean, I know they're French, but come on. Um, <laughs> poor. Can you not change the appearance? I thought you can change this colors thing where well. you could change cosmetic appearances of everything. Of your items that you wear. Right. But you will get to customize the colors and the face, the hair, everything. Yeah, it's sad, Gluto, but they do. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you get the idea? Yes. Each one of the classes have specialties. So, this one is the warrior that will leap close to the enemies mm. and deal big damage. Mm -hmm. He can buff himself, get stronger, and okay. do more in his turn, mm -hmm. increase his mm -hmm. vitality. Yeah. His health points. Okay. You have the archer. This is the one I play. Okay. So the archer is a good damage dealer that tries to run away mm. from the enemy. So it's fickle. It doesn't oh. like being close to enemies because okay. it then you can't play so your ball very well. So it deals good damage, yes. but from a distance. From a distance. Okay. And it has many abilities like increasing its own damage, increasing uh -huh. its own range, so it can run even further away and still be able to deal your damage without a problem. And this is also an easy class mm. because it's one of the two biggest stereotypes across all mm. sorts of <laughs> movies and big worlds that you have seen. Right. Like this is uh, a paladin yeah. and this is an archer. They are the biggest stereotypes from okay. that you can see in movies so, and series and things like that. Kra like the name of it yeah. and then archer is what it actually is. It's an arc. Kra arc. Oh That's my the the word fucking there. God. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. So everyone is like skip next. Pass. <laughs> so getting a vibe that perhaps that is not the best one to go for. It is Can I too just ask easy. Another quick question. Yeah. You have four people already, four characters already. Mm. Does it like? Will it? If why don't you have a fifth? Like why would it not be? Would you not want the widest possible range of? Is it just more effort to keep on top of what they're all yeah, doing? It's or? more manageable. If you do the game in four, it's designed to be played by four. Right. So it's so optimized isn't it for that. It just makes everything longer, all the fights longer. Oh, but can't you just not use one of them? I can, but I'll have okay. to subscribe and it costs me £41 to play <gasps> for an entire year. So this is going to cost you £41? Not this character, because I've created it on my account. So you can explore the entire world without subscription. Uh, so essentially, because the game is 20 years old, it has grown so much over time. Yeah. They have a spot that you start in, that is reserved for people that have started and not want a subscription, right? 
But there's right. a finite content you can explore without subscription. Mm. And then once you pay, you enlarge that okay. area to the entire world and you can do all Flammable's the content. Flammable's already selling it to me. Um, <laughs> like an like MLM marketing plan. <laughs> it's just five coffee. Um, yeah. yeah, no, fair so, play. It's not that much. I'm going to do something where I scroll really quickly through each one of them and give you the gist of them. Mm. So this is a sacrier mm -hmm. because he sacrifices himself. He's a mm -hmm. tank. He deals a lot of damage. He's good with positioning. But he likes to suffer and be within other mobs okay he and likes to go inside the fight and get hurt you. Or do you do no. this one because no. <laughs> you do like to this is the anarips a traditionally an easy class to play it was designed in the beginning to be just a healer like a support class it plays oh. with others okay and you get hit by others by other mobs mm -hmm. or uh, monsters mm -hmm. and the anarips just keeps you topped up with health well that sounds useful it is useful and you don't have one of those already? I don't I do not have. I play a different style that does not require constant healing. Okay. The well, Shram. Everyone could use a little healing. Yes, I know. Uh, so the Shram. Um, just another quick mm. question. I'm mm. sorry to keep getting bogged yeah. down in the cosmetic and the Ripsa. appearances. It's aspirin. But do all the female ones essentially look like um, Victoria's Secret models? Or is I that... mean, this is a dog. This I one mean, doesn't. do they all have... Massive boobs and are they all scantily clad? Does it matter? Oh, this one's not. Okay, yeah, what does she do? Talk to me cat. about grandma. Grandma. <laughs> grandma. <laughs> so grandma, if you flip her name, is Fortune. Traditionally, it was a class that was able to steal uh, riches from fights. It's like a grandma oh, gold digger. <laughs> now this is, this is uh, so far so good. Yeah. Keep talking. And it's inside. Uh, so every <laughs> class that we've seen here has a toolkit called spells. The archer or the crow has bows that he can send away. And this one has coins that she can manipulate. Uh -huh. So shovels and coins, oh, that's her toolkit. Okay. That's what she works okay. with. So I'm going to go back and finish them all. Okay, in order. sorry. So Charlie. the assassin. <laughs> so passive-aggressive. I'm just going to go back and do them in the order I wanted to do them. So <laughs> we can get back inside the game and finally discover it. Okay. So we got stuck in the class selection. So the shram is also a joke by the developers, which is Mars, one of their favorite snacks. Mm -hmm. It is an assassin, the typical stereotype or archetype of an assassin that mm -hmm. goes invisible, that is very, very stealthy, Ooh, like that can place that. traps for you to walk on and get damaged. Uh, so it is based around dealing damage and being sneaky. So it doesn't always have high health points. Okay. It doesn't like being surrounded, but it is very good at filling up the map with traps for right. others to fall on mm -hmm. it's good with position it can go invisible for a number of turns it can make its allies invisible as well for some time okay so this are the strengths of this class mm -hmm. the next one is a dog and as you know <laughs> dogs like to come straight for you and then fight you s straight on <laughs> yeah and this is a an enraged kind of class that likes to be close combat that can find you from about anywhere because they have a good sense of <gasps> smell oh. so they have spells that can find you whatever you are and come close oh, to you cool. and then attack you okay. they can designate praise right. and keep an eye on them from a distance but this one is also a tank it can sustain a lot of damage and it can deal a lot of damage but mm. that means if you're far away from it, that's one of its weakness. Okay. Welcome, Sufjan. Malinois and Rottweiler. Okay. I will say those are not my two favorite dog breeds. And we have a cockapoo. So, <laughs> you know. But, um, yeah, okay. I like the sound of that. Forge Lance is the last class that was added. It is a hybrid kind of br creatures that operate uh -huh. a lance. They can send it they, from a, a distance. What? A lance. A lance. What is How do you say it? A lance. A lance, yeah, a lance. <laughs> <laughs> so it has special powers. They can send it from just about anywhere. Uh -huh. They're good at positioning. They can deal damage. And they're very good at protecting their allies. Oh. As in they can give you shields. Oh, that so people quite loyal. They're quite team oriented oh, yeah. okay. I like it's that. a new kind of class. so far I'm, like, I'm quite like a lot of them mm, it difficult. is really difficult uh, that's why most people try a you're lot you're gonna have to remember the ones that I said I liked because I will not so far you like the stealthy one. do you know I'll ask you at the end which one stood up to you the most then? Uh, but I'm do I have to start actually remembering the names of them? Because that's not the not the names, just I'll, the stereotype. Okay. Of what they do? Do you like the healing? I like, like the dog being... one. Mm -hmm. I like the team one. I like the assassin one. Mm -hmm. There was one more. So oh, I, I liked old lady. Okay, but we haven't lady. talked about the old lady yet. So well, this is Oza Modas. Him. It is an inside joke, Sadomaso, uh -huh. because she has a whip and she's the um, kind of just want tamer. You to know, mm. Someone thought that I was your sister. Huh? <laughs> do you not? 
لا سفيان لا I don't know if the lighting is weird but there is a fairly obvious difference between us لا سفيان Look at the title I have put wifey in there But I am I am flattered by that I suppose Are you? Yeah I think you're quite attractive Okay then I'll shock you to learn <laughs> So this is the tamer of beasts Oh. But, but also the sadomaso class that operates whips. It's an inside Sorry. joke. It's it an does inside sound joke a bit like sodomizer. Yeah, well, yes, yeah, it is. That's not what you BDSM. said. BDSM, Sa- or Zamordas. Okay. But if you flip it, sadomaso. Okay. Which is the exact thing right. you've described just in French. So this is the summoner okay. by excellence. Okay. It brings other entities into the map. Uh-huh. that can fight with it it's like a one man army or one woman army mm-hmm. she can create bring things to life that can help her or him during the fight deal okay. damage yeah and so i has, see healer on there so it has the ability to heal using its uh, it, depending on what situation it, it finds mm. itself in it can either summon the thing that heals yeah or it can summon the thing that deals damage or summon the thing that pushes uh-huh. enemies away so you have a wide variety of summons you can bring to life okay and it's very good with buffing so it can help its allies do more with their turns okay. or its own uh, summons as it's you can it's an s- enslaver an enslaver yeah oh. so it can cre- bring to life these creatures you see how it put an extra creature in the map and yeah. it has buffed it has made it bigger uh-huh i mean yeah. generally i don't I, i wouldn't say i'm a big fan of slavery i don't know okay. about you how I you can feel skip about slavery that so I we go to broadly not good. Yeah, so the enitro of the grandma mm. or the grandpa. It's a quite tricky class to learn because they are big team players. Why shouldn't I lick an Osas frog? Sorry, I am concentrating. <laughs> But why Never should... lick because you get this. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Or or psychedelic uh, trips, I don't know. Oh. It depends on what group I would say being there. married to you has felt sometimes akin to a psychedelic <laughs> trip. <laughs> anyway. So, the uh, Enitroph, or the Fortune class, yes. is very good with coins, shovels. That's the toolkit that it uses. The gold digger. Yes, Grandma Gold Digger. I love it. The thing is, it's very good with protecting its allies. Mm. It can summon shovels that can do things either push or deal okay. damage. Mm-hmm. It can also debuff. What does debuff mean? So we have okay, two okay. concepts. Buffing, which is make something stronger, mm-hmm. give it health mm-hmm. or action points or movement points so it can walk further in the map. Mm-hmm. And this does the opposite. It can remove those things from others. So ah. if there's a monster that makes itself bigger, it can just remove that effect from it. I love that. S- steal it from it. It can summon a lot and it can enhance the abilities of its own teammates. This is what it's good at. It's like oh. a, a hybrid support I think class. we can stop here. I think she's my gal. Really? I love her. You yeah. like the I mean, you can carry on, but I'm sold. This is a cat that is based around luck. It has a lot of spells that are random. Mm. Some effects can happen. Some effects might happen now or later. Yeah. So it's a peculiar kind of class. These ones are inhabitants of the sea called the, the Fogernaut. They live under the sea mm-hmm. and they use turrets that they summon to do things. So you have a turret that you summon to help turret. you. Turret. Yeah, these little things. Like a castle. No, no, a little in tourelle. Like a little mechanical device like ah. this one and then this one deals damage on your behalf. Okay. Or, I'm glad I asked cuz Or you can is... summon two devices, one that heals and lets you come close to it, one okay. that can push things away from you. Okay. So it's based around these mechanical devices that it can summon. Mm-hmm. This is the Fekka, also one of the first classes to be made. It's just cafe. Cafe inverted. So this is the protector <laughs> class. It can put shields mm. on itself and its allies to reduce the damage they take. This right. is the protector by excellence. Mm-hmm. And it has a gameplay around glyphs so it can summon little areas in the map and give them an effect like those little green ah. patch can deal damage or can have special effects on the others okay but it is the you def- have one of these yes because it's the Cause protector class oh yeah time. it can protect yeah. any one of its allies at any moment and it's really good at keeping mm-hmm. everyone alive so right. hello s welcome to the chat oh hi s how are you the hopper mage the what It's a mage, oh, but hopper mage. Oh, so it can manipulate all the elements. <laughs> did, you, did you do the hydrate? <laughs> yes, I did okay. that. I did have a drink. <laughs> Hello, Neo. Good evening. Oh, hi, Neo. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a mage of some sort. It can manipulate the elements. It can attack in all various elements and it uses magic. I don't magic. know if you've explained to me what a mage is. 
Uh, don't worry about that. We will get to it okay. later. Right. But this is a mage, as in the class of creatures called the mage. Uh -huh. They manipulate the elements to move, like they make the wind transport them into different they make places. Make the wind transport them. Okay. Yeah, they can use the elements available mm. in fine. order to do things in the map. That's fine. It's good with positioning, mm -hmm. and it deals a lot of damage as well. Okay. The mask is a peculiar class. Hate. Already really. hate it. Yeah. They play around masks. They change them. And depending on which mask they have on, mm. they have special spells that you can use then. Mm. You have one mask that makes you close combat, you can hit from mm. close. They have masks that make you run faster. Mm. Thing like, you don't like it. No. Sounds like a lot of admin. The panda, which yeah. is a class of positioners by Axel. This is mm. the best positioner. So now I do it's like the only the class idea that can carry panda. physically something and throw it away. And that's why it's can very popular. can carry physically something and yeah. throw it away. So wh when you are on a map, we play yeah. on a grid, yeah. and you can fight monsters, and you have allies with you, yeah. and you can carry one of them and change its place in the map, like right. pick it up from here, throw yeah. it there. You can position things in the map Got you. to make the fight much easier. Oh, okay, but other people, <laughs> other characters can't do that. Uh, other characters. Do Which not. is the drinking one? Is that why I said is the old woman the drink? She likes the drinking one. I wonder why she's. <laughs> okay, so this one's special. Gameplay oh, aggressive is, drinker! Is I only just drunk. saw that. When it <laughs> gets mean, drunk and then it gets sober. That drunk is and then fairly sober. appropriate. <laughs> that was no. You and see, the thing is, mm. there was a time in my life where that would have been appropriate for uh -huh. me. But no. um, I discovered. I think I actually had a genuine moment of realization. The last time that we did a stream together, like a proper long one, was the quiz night that we did. Mm. And I opened a bottle of Prosecco at the start of that quiz, and by the end of it, I had almost finished the bottle, and. I did not really think about it because I was obviously just trying to drink my way through the boring Dofus rounds. <laughs> and, uh, but I felt awful. Mm. And when I was younger, I could have drunk a bottle of wine, no problem, many mm. times I did that. <laughs> but now, oh my God, it's like 30 has hit. <laughs> emotional damage. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Physical and emotional damage. <laughs> you have I saw heard someone it, I heard redeems it. that you yeah, can yeah, hear yeah. it. No, I did. I, I heard it. I've missed it now. So. Um, this yes. is a tank. Sorry, that was a bit of a digression. It's a tank. It has the natural ability when it's drunk to sustain mm. less damage. It reduces the amount of damage you can yes, deal to it. Yes, that checks out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is the type of gameplay. Positioning, tanking, and very little damage dealer. Iliotrope is one of the hardest classes to play. Yeah. It's a special breed of creatures that play around portals. They have mm. magic, so they place a portal here yeah. and a portal on the other side, and they can walk through this one <gasps> and emerge Ooh, on the other side. They're so complex. That's cool. Wait, but how do you travel to places in the game if you don't have that, if you can't L teleport? Do you remember do you do? action points and movement points that I told you about yes. earlier? So these are things that you have that you can use mm -hmm. in order to do actions, action points. Mm. And everyone has a number of movement points that cells that you can travel okay. in your turn. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's one of the most complex ones. So uh, if you place portals on the map, as you can see here, you can hit from very, uh, you can play range from a yeah. long distance. And, and your allies can use that as well. Mm -hmm. And it increases your overall damage. Okay. But it is complex because you have to learn how to position them in the map mm. in a special <laughs> order. I mean, These are the portals. given my general ability to follow the simple instructions of a sat mouth, that doesn't mm. sound like something that I would <laughs> be good at. So maybe let's <laughs> stick here. Skip it. Elio is the best class when you learn them hands down. It is one of the most powerful classes if you know how to use them because they amplify okay. pretty much everyone's ability to deal damage and ah, from a very long distance. Okay. Make her play, Elio. That sounds like it's not good. <laughs> yeah. Zello you, or Bust? Can you pronounce that? A lot of opinions. What, what is that Elio. class? Elio. This class. Zello. Okay. Why? Okay. What would you... That's it. All right. Yeah. Cool. So Eliotrop is portal without the double E. If you remove both E's, it becomes portal. Or top. Okay. The more you explain okay. the names, the okay. lamer I think it is. Okay. So I would stop if I were you. The Sadida. <laughs> it's a jungle kind of class. They're inhabitants of jungles, and they are the summon. Also, a summoner class. They uh -huh. can make trees appear that do things. They make Feels little like they voodoo do classes, voodoo dolls that have yeah. special effects and things like that. It's <laughs> Adidas if you flip it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I told you to stop. I'm going to leave if you, <laughs> okay. if you keep carrying on. I won't tell you anymore. So the rogue um. is a bandit kind of class that has uh, weapons mm. and bombs. Mm. And it plays around those bombs. Mm -hmm. It places them, they can get bigger, and mm -hmm. they can explode on you. Mm -hmm. And they can create walls if you walk between two bombs, mm. you get hit. Mm -hmm. 
and they can make them explode on you. Okay, I do quite like that. It's the bandit that. class. I do quite like that. Cool, keep that in mind. This okay. is the Zellor. Which is mm. Rolex, if you flip it, uh, which is time. I have asked you to stop. Time. <laughs> uh, it has relevance. It's based around time. This is the master of time. Oh, this is God. the... Okay, that one... See, good example. Mm. That one's fine. Relevant. Because it's relevant. Yes. The yogurt one... <laughs> that was just an inside just... joke. There were three... It's not were... an inside joke. It's... It was okay. back in the time. And inside... Right. When they've created the company, they didn't know it was going to grow to this okay. size. And mm. when they were... S let's create characters. The yeah. first three they've created were the Shram the Fekka and the Iop. Right. And they were just their favorite snacks. Uh, Mars bar, Iop uh, yogurt, and, and uh, coffee. coffee. Right. And then they started giving classes meaning and stuff okay. like that when they had a big player base. Okay. So this is uh, the <sighs> god who created the time aspect of this world. This is the manipulator of time. He can make everyone go back to where they were a minute uh -huh. ago. Uh, he can teleport. He can reduce your ability to do things during your turn. Mm. It's a wizard that manipulates time. And it's one of the most complex mm. uh, classes out there. Again, I don't enjoy the Christopher Nolan movies, so I don't think I would enjoy... Skip. Mm. So we've done all of them. Now, okay. you have an idea about all 19 classes. Which one stood out to you the most? Let's say the top three and then revisit the them and you pick one. I think the top three... Oh, can you just yeah? Can you just click through them again? So we had the warrior no. that runs and fights, yeah. the archer that runs away and fights, yeah. the sacri that likes to go in the middle of a fight and get oh, yeah, hit to do, do like more damage, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Eripsa that is a healer but can also deal damage as well. <laughs> the stealthy one <laughs> that, that can go invisible. Just thinking, playing a Zillor, you can use the time magic to never I have heard, heard of the fact. I did like that. Yeah, I enjoyed that. <laughs> it's a worthwhile consideration. Sacri, sacri, um, sacri. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we have the dog that likes to run away and then inflict damage and reduces mm. its damage taken. And, and has a good sense of smell. Yes. And the lance mm. class okay. that has a special power that can be sent from a distance. Mm -hmm. You They're still said it wrong, by the way. Lance. <laughs> the matter, summoner. The grandma old lady, the cat, the nautical people that live uh -huh. under the sea, uh -huh. the protector, the fecca, the hopper mage that can manipulate all elements and deal big damage, uh -huh. the mask. Didn't like that one. The panda. I sort of like that one, but people, I feel like the panda is controversial. It, well, it doesn't matter. You pick the class you like. And you want Emotional damage. <laughs> so. Special power. <laughs> the special power to be useless. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, master of portals. You also have the sadi okay. that can summon dolls okay. and trees. Okay. The guy that places bombs. Can I? Can I sort of like? Um, wait, what was the one. name of the bomb one again? I like the bomb. The one. rogue. All right, I like the bomb one. Mm -hmm. I like. I like the dog. Oh. Can I ask the people in the chat mm. how they would feel if I were to choose the gold digging grandma? What what's she called? The Anitra of Fortune. Is that because that is the one I'm currently leaning towards. So I want some impartial advice from the chat, please, on whether you think <laughs> that is. We a have shown you the cat. Good idea or not? <laughs> what is the size <laughs> of your forehead? <laughs> We've got um, X X L. I'll just find a ruler, actually, and we'll just measure. <laughs> no, that no, no, no. While that? they're telling me what they think, we'll just. Check the... Oh, I don't have measuring tape anymore, so we can't find out. Sadly. <laughs> Quite big. No, I think it's a medium forehead. It's um, it's a thumb. This Darren. this guy is going great. So okay, far, we've given out personal grandma. information. Oh, fine. <laughs> I thought it was a new runway for Heathrow. Rude, actually. Rude. <laughs> it's a five head. <laughs> Why am I being so mean about your head? What's wrong with your head? I have no idea. I Maybe it's, it's shiny. It's brighter than my future at the moment because I've showered <laughs> Oh, ouch. <laughs> self burn. <laughs> Those, Those are rare. rare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was sad. That was really sad. <laughs> um, right. Can we go with the... Is this the one you want? Let's do it. Let's go. Stream marker. Boom. Okay. So, after you mm. pick the class, you get to choose the face that she will have. Yeah. The hair. Uh -huh. The colors of her skin clothes and things like that okay whether nice. you want a grandpa or a grandma mm, so which show me grandpa you? here's grandpa mm, he looks a bit mean <laughs> you can have a different face well though. the third one's quite nice oh, this one. This i quite one. like that one he looks a bit einsteiny this one yeah <laughs> so you want him like this uh, i'm just gonna show me the woman version again yeah 
feel as a feminist I should choose the woman. Really? Yeah, especially because she's the only one that wasn't dressed in a bikini. So I'm trying to like increase the quotient of non-bikini wearing women in the game. Um, I'm going to go with the grandma, Mm -hmm. but I'm going to go with the hair and face second from top. So you have the kind, gentle face or the mean face, but with different haircuts. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go kind face. This one? And that hair, I think. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any colors in mind? Are you happy with this default I look? I don't like the brown. Okay. It's a bit boring. So for her face, what sorts of color would you like for her skin? Oh, no, I'm fine with... Well, pink's quite fun, isn't it? Pink. That looks <laughs> bad with the brown dress. Can I change the brown dress? Yes. So this is the way you change the dress. <laughs> this by, is going badly. By clicking on the Ooh. cell. That... Okay, hang on, hang on. Mm. Uh... Let me, let me, let me. Yeah, let me. go on. Let you me click get... on the little squares. Get involved. And they will tell you what sorts of piece of hair you're changing the color of. Oh, okay. I quite like... What? Don't worry, they will change her soon. Bikini grandma incoming. No, <laughs> no, no. Don't say that. <laughs> Gluten <laughs> said to make an enu and name her wine money. <laughs> wine money. Because she's based around coins and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> I want a color that like contrasts well. What's the complementary color for pink? Uh, I don't know yellow. why I'm looking at you as if you know. I have absolutely no idea what color. Anybody is. knows in the chat? Let me know. <laughs> Time to spend two hours <laughs> creating characters. characters. Yeah. Look, this is my character. All right, I'm gonna do it my way. Um, I don't want to be annoyed. Can you change it afterwards if you don't like it? Yes, you can okay, change it. Okay, change it anytime. All right, I'm mm. gonna go white. You can pick well. random colors. Where do if I you find want. white? White's a good idea. White actually. is all the way at the top. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's a good shout. She looks a bit like a nurse. Can I change the apron now? Yeah, you just have to find... Yeah, if you hover on top of the, those little squares, they will show you what you're changing. Okay, there right, you right, go. right. Okay, so we're going to go with a blue apron, I think. You've got to slide this down into... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ...thicker yeah. areas, yeah. I quite like that. You like it? Yeah, I want to change this... Can I not change the yellow stripe on it, though? Is no, that... I, I don't know. Uh, check the last one. What the one? last square. Ah, it only uh, changes okay. the bag it has well, on my back let's do i mean fuck it i've i've put as many colors as humanly <laughs> possible into this no let's go with the blue one uh-huh, okay and then there's some matching i don't like her face now i think it's too pink okay i'm gonna lighten it up a bit there we go that's better fabulous and now you click here and give her a name oh god that's what others that will what use to names? find you oh, okay i've noticed that people don't have real names like i yeah you can call her like wine money. Like I can't money. just call her like Rebecca. Can <laughs> well, maybe can. <laughs> um, wine money. Um, no, I don't like that. It sounds like a prostitute name. <laughs> okay, go uh, on. Think of something. What do you want to call her? Well, um, oh my. Je sais pas. Quick, quick, quick. It doesn't matter. Pas, je sais pas, je you can randomize the name if you can't think of non, something. No, mais non, mais non. <laughs> Yeah, gold digger, I do like that. Hold on, um, go on. Golf digger. Golf digger. <laughs> no, that's the kind of joke that the makers of this game would have made. Okay. Gold digger grand. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then you press play. Oh, the capital letter. Must be used at the start. Of the- oh. So you had to have uh, the hyphen. Gold Does this digger look grand. Good? Yeah, it's fine. Boom, you've created a character. Nice. And now you're about to engage with Crystal the tutorial. Crystal <laughs> Sorry. When we first got together, um, people were discussing what... You know, like when celebrities get together and they're talked about with like an amalgamation of their names. So like Harry and Meghan will be like Hagen. I mean, that's not one. But, you know, and then people realise that it would be meth because my name is Beth and his <laughs> starts with M. So. <laughs> meth. Beautiful. So, this is the story. Yeah. It's telling you. Oh. Now, Did I harmony, miss the start of it? Yes, there was a harmony and it was broken. The elements and the monsters have been unleashed. All right. The time has come. Your destiny has brought you to Incarnum. I thought you said it was called um, the Crow... The Crow's Moth. Verse or something. Discover the world. Find precious allies. Okay. Find the Dofus, become a hero, and the and Dofus become is part an egg. Of the legend, yes, that gives you special powers. Okay. They are made by these dragons. <gasps> I'm Ganymede, master of the celestial eagles. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get through this. <laughs> Where is he taking me? I wasn't listening because I was. So he's the tutorial guy. He will teach you how 
to position now this is the first lesson is teaching you if you use the mouse and click on any cell on the map mm. you will go there um <laughs> okay sorry i was reading the chat again somebody said golf digger is a subpar name oh do you get it yes so, so good <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. So now I do what? Sorry, I so move. He's telling you, welcome to the guided tutorial. Yeah, to position your that? character, you click somewhere on the map and then they move to it. Do you see how she walked? Yeah. Whatever so you can you just, she can just go where she wants. But yeah. I thought you said there was movement points or is that going That's within big distances? Fights. Within fights, uh, you have a limited number of points that you can use. Okay. So who, and what's this dude doing here now? He's telling you, speak to a character, you have to click ah. on it. Welcome to Incarnam. How would you like to take a very short class to teach you the basics of life as an adventurer? Do I want to do that? This I is thought the you were going to be engaging. my. You're... No, thought... no, no. Do the tutorial and I'll take I it. I thought you after were going to be my weird eagle guy. <laughs> I am. <laughs> so. All right. What's this at the bottom left? That looks like you a chat. Have, that's uh, like a log of things that have happened. You've started oh, the right. quest when you've started okay. speaking with him. Yeah, right. It has been updated after you've clicked uh -huh. and you've received an item. Intrepid ring. You've received an item. And oh. he's telling you, I'm going to teach you how to equip this Open ring. Open the inventory. Mm -hmm. Move the ring to the... Where? To the slot. To slot. equip it. Yeah. Do what with it? Pick it up. Uh-huh. And then drop it on uh -huh. one of the ring slots. So that's what equipping is? Yes. Because you have what slots of mean? things that you can equip. Because now, you, now you can you're only wearing have it. so many things at once. Yes. Okay. And each thing gives you special effects. And when you equip that, it gives you the effect that it contains. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce this person, but bye bye. Thank you for staying and thank you for your Take care, wishes w. See you very soon. Gaming journey. Yeah. So you can close <clears throat> the interface there. Okay. Bye bye. Now, to change maps. To yeah. change maps, move your cursor to the edge of the screen and then left click when the arrow appears. Do you see the yellow arrow? Oh, yeah. So if you want to go to the next one, that's <gasps> it. You've changed maps and you've leveled. I'm already level two. Yeah. I'm great at this. <laughs> How many levels are you've there? You've got some <laughs> rewards. What? 200. <laughs> <laughs> so you've leveled up and when you level mm. up, you get these How ones. Just, How pissed off would you be if I actually was amazing at it? If I was like just not bothered, but amazing. It would be cool. Could you wouldn't them. mind. No, no. Oh, I wanted you to again. be like secretly furious. <laughs> There's no motivation now. <laughs> yeah, just don't be too good. <laughs> Is this a double bluff? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was, okay, can't. what do I do now? So when you level up, you gain things. Five health points. Oh. Five characteristic points. Okay, I'm building character. Bots nice. are the ability to carry things. Oh, okay. So like weight. Ah, ability right. To carry Rucksacks. Weight. Yeah. So... To start a fight. Start a fight. Yeah. Straight in. It's quite yeah. an aggressive game, isn't it? Well, it is. It is. You're gonna have to. You <laughs> gain five pounds. It's five pounds. You better not be talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Your character has gained. Okay. I'm just feeling a bit sensitive. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's not. Let's not flame flammable. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry. So money, money, money. So. What's this shiny thing? I want that. It is something that you're gonna start a fight with. So this is. <gasps> oh so. no! I wanted to. <laughs> I thought it was like a. Free Choose gift. your starting position. Oh god, it's, is so, it like chess? Does it matter where I start? It does matter because... I'm a wuss, I want to be as far away as possible. Okay, you can pick where you want to start. Right. And when you select that red cell... Oh my god. Then you can start the fight oh ready. Oh my god. So it's asking you to pick this one just so it can... What? It's asking me to pick the, which one? The one nearest to... <gasps> Why? Yeah. And when you are ready, you can pick the, the one far back button. if you want. You can start, start back if you feel like it. Oh, well, I've done and it you've now. you've started the fight. Now. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Position yourself during a fight. These are your movement points. You can walk. You have so three. So far this is quite slow. I kind of thought that when it was a fight, it would be like... <laughs> this is just because it's but easy. We're, we're just clicking squares. It doesn't so get you, more. You have three movement points. Can you see the, the, the green here? Yeah. MP, movement point. Mm -hmm. You can use up to three. That's that's mm -hmm. what it means. And then if you click this one here. Uh-huh. Now you've used now the movement what? point. Now you have to use a spell. Each class has spells. Okay. This is the place of a weapon because you don't have one. You can only hit with your hand. And then you have some special spells that deal damage. Hover on top of the blue one. Uh huh. This one is a coin. Hover, just oh, release so it. Oh, so I clicked it. It's fine. Just release it. Click anywhere else. Right. Hover on top of it. Mm -hmm. This one can deal seven to nine water oh, damage. okay. Hover on top of the next one. Okay. Can I just quickly check? Yeah. Is there like, um, in 
I think in Pokemon, from mm. my own memory, uh -huh. there were some characters where like water would have more effect than others. For example, because yeah. they were like a fire type Pokemon. Yeah. Is that is the same principle? You will find something like this. Yeah. Okay. So this one deals water damage, seven to nine water damage. Yeah. And it costs two action points. You have six, oh. so you can use this that seem like three times for a fight. Hold on. Yeah. Just take it easy. This one is three action points, so you can use it twice. <laughs> But it deals more damage in a different element, 17 to 19. Okay. So you get to choose which spells you want to use. Which would you use if you were me? This one, the next one is called the Living Bag that will shield you, will protect you if you summon it next to you. Click it. Okay, it's a bad name. Place it somewhere near you without putting it down. Do you see that red area? Yeah. It's the area where it protects anyone within it. Okay. Only so, you and your allies. But isn't it going to protect... No, only oh, you and your okay, allies. Yeah. But you don't need that for now. You want to deal damage. Or so you can place I it put if that you back. Want. If you want. No, no, I don't you want to waste it. You just click something else, yeah. So pick that one. Oh, okay. And but you can what deal is damage. this thing? And will it? That's a, a, th a throw of coins. So if you place it on top of the enemy, do it. Yeah. Do you see the damage but that it's likely it, um... to do? Boom! You've just you've just hurt it. You've reduced All its right. health points. But how would you choose which of the spells was the right one to use against this particular opponent? Is my question. Uh, you will learn through time, but if you hover on top of it, just stand on top of yeah. the, the the ball, go down a bit. There you go. It has 20 health points, 20. Uh-huh. And it, these are resistances you will learn later. Okay. So it is more resistant towards an element or another. This one has zero resistance. So whatever mm. element you hit it with, it will deal the full force of the damage you're capable of. Okay. So if you place this one, it's 17 to 19. So mm. it deals exactly that, 17. To 19. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then you can end your turn after you've used up all of your action points. Okay. You still have movement points to use. And then you can pass, end your turn. Why wouldn't you want to move away so that when he does his action, he Thanks can't Thanks for get the you. prime sub, Murph. Sorry? Oh, thank you, Murph. <laughs> um, why wouldn't you want to do your spells mm -hmm. and then move away so that when he does his spells you're not standing right in front of it do that well no. is that a good idea it, or not it is a good impulse of course yeah that's excellent actually okay. yeah that is really good so i'm gonna use some movement is it, are these my movement points the three that you have there but you have to place them on the map so now you can oh. only run one away because he's grabbing you too oh, close to no. it. so you can only run one away so is there any point in doing that yes you will be fur one further away okay boom You've used that See one See you up. later. And then you can end your turn because you don't have any more action points okay. or movement points. Okay. So you end your turn. Okay. Now he has come close to you and damaged you as well. Oh, no. Now you need to win the fight. Yeah. Go on. You have some spells. You need to win this <laughs> what fight. What do you mean go on? <laughs> it's your turn. Yeah. No, I... Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just win the fight. It's your turn. Go yeah. on. Just win the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Never even played this thing before. Right. So you've learned how to use your spells to deal damage. Uh-huh. And you have six action points. How many turn. points did I lose from him hitting me? Nothing. He hasn't taken any from you. Okay, that doesn't make any sense, but okay. You still have six action points to use, and you can use that spell. Oh my god. You can punch it. Okay, which this deals costs six to three seven. action points. Yeah, and it deals six to seven. Okay. You can see Which here, doesn't six seem seven. very. I mean, it says neutral. Neutral damage. That the doesn't sound damage. very good. Okay. This um, one. Um. Three also cost three action points. Critical, 25%. That sounds a lot more, um, you know, um, bad, <laughs> for want of a better word. <laughs> Why are you not helping me more? This use is so your stressful. Spells. We've said that you pick yeah, them. Yeah, but up. I don't know which one to use. You just pick one of them that deals damage. The, the point is to, Look, to end the I'm life. I'm very of competitive that thing. and I like to go. win and it I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Oh, I there did want go. to do the earth one. Yay. There you go. There you what? Go. what the fuck happened? You killed win? it. Yeah. You've won the fight. Okay, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> right. So you finished it. And you've been getting, you've worn some items, as you can see in the log there. You've got a belt, you've got a shield. Oh, you've great. Got things that you can equip. Okay. Just don't pick the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Helpful, Zevi, thank you. Damn, she's good at this, Astro. Yes, this is the kind of positive reinforcement I need. Thank you, Astro. <laughs> <laughs> now. I know you're being sarcastic, but I still appreciate it. Now. Yes, what? The next bit is to start a quest. You will find people that are stood in maps. Mm. And they have quests for you to do. Okay. 
they're usually designated by that explanation. How long did it take you to get into this one before you were like, yeah, this is great, rather than why weeks. is this so complicated? A few days. I mean, you try it once you get the hang of it and you okay. start leveling your characters and you know your spells and stuff like that. Yeah. It gets easier. Okay. Go on. <laughs> uh, Remember, this is the discovery phase. Yeah. So It's a lot like parenting. When you win the fight, it mm. tells you this is the log. You've won the fight. You've gotten 62 XP. Yeah. Zero money. Oh. And you didn't drop anything from this fight. Okay. No loot has dropped, so you can close that one. Okay, do you sometimes get money? You can start. Yes, sometimes you do. And then you can speak oh. with the character. Hello, he has Ganymede. a quest for you, this guy. Hello. Well done. Equip the items you've earned and then head to the next map where you'll face a more forbid for forbid formidable Thank you. enemy. enemy. Yes. Um, so, set off yeah. to challenge this new enemy. Equip your items. I know how to do this now. Mm -hmm. I go to the inventory Ooh. and I put... Hey, this is, this is a cape. Yeah, what does it go? Is this a... Yeah. But it's not a Jahash cape. <laughs> <laughs> is it? You can't equip that one at your level yet. <laughs> you need to be level 200. Oh. That's the, the shield. Oh, right. Sorry. I was looking for something that looked like it, but it's That's highlighting the, the way I need to put it, isn't it? And this that, must be painfully slow for people watching shit. this. They must still be like, oh my Hold god, on. get the fuck on with it. I'm really sorry. Oh, they need to go to the next room and fight. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? I just did a fight. Yes, but this is going to get, you said, a more formidable enemy. This is going to get harder. Okay. But I want to show you something oh, okay. really quickly. Yes, please, so if you if would. You, if You've you been open, very unhelpful so far. Open the inventory mm. and then hover on top of one of the items you've equipped. Oh. This gives you one vitality, yeah. one initiative. Okay. So initiative lets you start earlier than others. Oh, the person okay. with the more initiative starts first. Okay. Your amulet gives you one vitality, one initiative. Right. So you have a lot more vitality now. Like, um, do you just have them, or do you have to like decide you're going to use it before your go starts or something? Do you know what I mean? Do you have to like say I'm going to use this thing in this in this fight? And uh, like you, take you it out. Everything you know I mean? that is, is equipped just... when you start the fight, you'll be able to use. Okay. So if you have a weapon, okay. you can use but it. But there will come a point where you have loads more stuff in your inventory. Yes, and you choose than, okay. the elements you want and things oh, like you, that. You, you. So we need to defeat the next monster in the next room. So you need to go to the next map now. Okay. On the right. All right. So you can win a hat and complete your look. And uh, get a full why? set of I'm equipment. I'm just pressing the yellow thing and it's not. Ah, there you go. Oh, I'm here. See, that kind of looked like I just went off that side and back on this side again. Yes, because you've changed the maps. Right. But this so is the this same. is the new okay. enemy that you need to defeat. This it looks a bit bigger and scarier than the other one. Yeah, that is designed to be like this. So now you know mm. what is, what spells you have. You have a bit more vitality. Okay. So for this one... This is very, very old school, this yeah. game. Yeah, it's turn-based. One, yeah. Each one gets a yeah. go and stuff like that. Yeah. When was this designed? 2004. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you all play it still. Why? Because it's marvellous. So okay. you, earlier you had the impulse to start as far away from it as possible so mm -hmm. you can hit it from a range and run away. It is chess with extra steps. So select one of the four squares where you want to start. Uh, you want to get close, you want to be further away. Is he serious that what? if you type the French national anthem, you get one <laughs> I'll not... sing it. If I get extra points, if I win more, I'll sing it. Um, actually, I don't know the French national anthem. Right, every turn has 30 seconds. So oh, you, need to make you didn't action. tell me that! Go on, the timer is going now. So you need that. to use your spells. I'm going with this guy because so it's, been, close it's so you been can good. Use it, oh, or use the other one hell. that can hit from uh, a bigger range. Oh, this one can hit from a bigger right. range. Boom, okay. hit it. No, place it on top of it. Dude. Mm. You your turn has finished. So you pick up your spell and you place it on top of I'm it. I'm absolutely furious with go you. Go on, go on, go on. Continue I'm your turn. absolutely furious. Go on, nice. See if you can reach it with the one that deals more damage. The brown one. Okay. You can't. You need to step oh, one further. Fuck me. I can't remember how to move. Um, get press, off. Yeah, go on. And then oh press one. <laughs> yep. Select it quickly. Ah! It's so stressful! I missed! <laughs> missed it. Fuck's sake! Oh, it's okay, it's okay. You can carry on. Go on. He has hit you now. He's dealt some yeah, damage to I'm you. Yeah, I'm not fucking Your surprised. HP is decreasing. Now use your spells again to damage it. Oh my god, oh my god. Go on. Pick <laughs> the brown like, ones or like. the blue one. Oh. These are your spells at the it bottom. It was already yellow, so I thought yeah. I already had selected it. Boom, look at that. Big damage. Do it again. You still uh, have three AP to use. Oh, can I just... Okay. Oh my again. god. 
Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Right, right, right. I've done it. 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 Oh, you've oh god, I need to lie down. Oh my god. So <laughs> 30, you get 30 seconds for every go. <laughs> yes. And they get 30 seconds for their go. So you sort of need to plan. Nice. You've got a nice reading. Thank you. <laughs> Whoever did that. So, thanks, Sebi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know you know now that you have two spells. Yeah. The blue one that has a bigger range, it can hit from afar, yeah. but it deals less damage. Mm -hmm. Or the one that deals more damage, but it has a shorter range. Right. So if you just want to hit from a distance and run, you just use okay. this one, use mm. it three times on that character, mm -hmm. and then run away, use your movement points to run before okay. you pass your turn. Okay. All good? Now, he's asking you to finish your oh, training. Oh, this guy again. What, mm. what do you want now, big eagle man? Uh-huh, I would like to go to the temple. Nice. Now, achievement unlocked. What yeah. does that mean? Celestial temple. Can I click it? Yeah. <gasps> this is the 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 achievement you have unlocked is to discover the celestial temple where you are now because mm -hmm. you've set foot in it, you've discovered it, and you get an achievement point for it. Okay. And what the achievement point gives you is 109 XP, so you can level your characters, and then you can take it by pressing the arrow Sorry, there. I feel like there's things going on in the chat that what is when going we're on? not watching it, they're being weird. <laughs> really? What's happening? Somebody's using the word moist. Where? And it's always concerning when that happens. I'll give you a moist representation after work. It's brief <laughs> sense of this girl. It's just the two of them having a chat. Okay, good. It. Not not <laughs> related to me. So All you right, can good. steal you can take that thing, you can collect your reward. Uh huh. That's it. Your Done. XP has increased now. Nice. You have gained a hundred and nine. What's this in the clouds thing? That's a big achievement that is composed of uh, many smaller ones that are above what's it. This? So I haven't done any of these other ones? Not yet, because you're just oh starting. Oh, so many! Yeah. Right, so do I need to do all of these and then what Close. happens if I've done them all? You get rewards for it. Okay. Uh, now that guy has a quest for you, do you remember? One they yeah. have an exclamation mark. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. means yeah, they yeah. have a quest for you. Okay, I'm gonna be a hero. Why doesn't he do some of this stuff himself? Because he's quite big. I feel like he would just be. It would be easier if he just did it. Himself. It's you playing the game. <laughs> well, if you're gonna be a hero, it's best to have divine power behind you. Sure. Before going any further, how about gaining the gods' favor? Mm -hmm. The twelve. Resp I am so lost in this game. The world of twelve. Oh is my 12 god. First classes. <sighs> but there's like the celestial temple, the twelve, mm. the gods. It's just all a little bit. They Much. anyway they artisans and artists okay show off your growing talents climb the stairs speak to master at work mm -hmm. he's work waiting for you in the professions hall there's going to be professions yeah. as well okay right. yeah so now you can go up the hall I'm and off. speak to that person I'm into, I'm in the this hall. is him he's <laughs> also like a big bird oh <laughs> look at his cute little face young, young soul. soul I salute you is this where you learn to speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> when I first met him, he was like really formal in his way of speaking English, as if he'd like learned it from Dickens or something. But now I'm starting to think it was anyway. The game. Right, I'm here to teach you the basics about professions. The greatest heroes. No finer blade than the one forged by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, many professions that will allow you to. Okay, right. I'm gonna just click that. Why not? Do I should room? I read this stuff? Because he's just asking you to craft room. There are two schools of thought. People yeah, okay, who read and understand no. better about the game. <laughs> who reads? What is this science? Yeah, so people who engage with the story, this is how you know more about the story. This has <laughs> everyone's this like, what? "What the fuck? Why are you reading it?" <laughs> Nobody ever I'm reads. I'm sorry, it. it's a dialogue box. I like to know <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> Fine, all right, I won't read, and you guys can just tell me what's going on when I'm completely fucking Look, lost. You need some wheat. He's Ash, reading it to me, guys. It's important. It's obviously important. So don't forget to consult your quest notebook. Oh, for fuck's so you wouldn't sake. have known about a quest notebook, and you've just taken a quest from that guy. So if you press the quest oh my notebook, Christ. boom, this is the, the quest you're doing right now called right. the Ring of Living Dangerous. I like the name. Yeah. So you've entered the profession hall. You're yeah. in there. So that yeah. has checked. Talk to master. Take. Now you need to harvest some wheat. Harvest some nettle. Ash. Cut some ash. Right. And then extract iron and then fish for gudgeon. So you need to do all these tasks. Okay. Seems and like quite a lot reward. of effort. And then and I you get a lot of XP. Right. Five times the previous Fine. one you got. Well, sounds quite boring. No fighting. Explore the area. Now. Oh, okay. That looks like wheat. I need to harvest that, don't yeah, I? That's how we... Hello. Chop, 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 chop. Is there no one that's going to, like, challenge me? Am I literally nah, just doing this? On your own. Okay. <laughs> now, you and need to do the others And then I need to do the, the, need to do the well. other things. So I'm... That one. The iron. You need to yeah. pick it up. Hack, hack, hack. <laughs> Get some wood, <coughs> some metal. 
Um, yes, if someone could explain to me the point of playing, <laughs> that would be great. Have you seen that? Yeah, Murphy's asking if there's a story. Yes, the whole I thing like... is based around the story. We just don't engage with it. <laughs> That's um, why most people dislike question because you don't know why you're being asked to do these things and it feels boring. Why am I going all the way to this map to speak to this guy? Well, because it's part of a story and you need to complete it. Uh -huh. Have I done this right? <laughs> yeah, you've... Cut everything that you I've needed. I've just clicked around randomly, yeah. really. Okay, and now what? And now you can craft something once you get oh, the resources. Nice. You can make something. So you need to make the Courageous Ring, which is there. Okay. I know you can't see. It's the second one. Yeah, it's annoying. I can't. It's that one, yeah. really see. If you click it, mm -hmm. all the things that you've gathered are here. Yeah. And if you combine them, you get a ring that gives Ooh. you three to four power. Right, so how do I combine them? Oh, <laughs> by the pressing the combine <laughs> button, probably. Right. So your junior ah. profession, there's a pop-up that tells you you've leveled your profession to level yeah. two. And you gain 12 additional pods, so you can carry more things. This is the counter of how much things you can carry. Okay. So you have a thousand and five bots. That seems like a lot. Amazing. Now, if you leave this interface, yeah, this crafting interface by yeah. clicking out of it, the X at the top. Goodbye. And then if you go back to your inventory, you've just yeah. made a, an item that gives you some cool things. <gasps> So you can equip those. It looks like a paper hat. Yes, it is. Because okay. you're you're an adventurer. You're just starting. Okay. Before you get real serious gear. I feel like I'm not really sure way. how wheat and iron. Well, you've made went this. Went into creating that. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. So, so you I'm going to pop that, that there. Well. There yes, we go. You can equip pop that. Pop that well. one where. The hat on top of your head. Oh, somebody said you can double click and it yeah. does it. And it goes automatically okay. to a slot. It's quite big, isn't it? Yes. A bit much. <laughs> Like yeah. a wedding or something that she's going to in that. Nice. So when they have a question mark, that means you've done everything they've asked you to. And you need okay. to speak to them to get your rewards. All right. So good work, Gold Digger Oh, uh, that's nice. <laughs> you see, it's nice to read the dialogue because then you get a bit of mm. positive feedback. Show the ring to Ganymede. He's waiting for you outside of this room. Mm hmm. Boom. Now, if you go back to outside of the room... How do I do that, You, you climbed up the stairs earlier, so mm. now you need I to I have to remember down. how to go back. Yeah. That's going to be a there problem. Is, that's that's going to be a recurring problem. Boom, you've leveled. <gasps> yes! And you've unlocked a new spell. Fucking hell. You can do so, more now. So good at this. Yes. Well done. <laughs> well done. No, but that's... It does it get harder, presumably. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It gets much, much harder. All right. You need to sp spend more time gathering Shovel resources. kiss sounds pretty dirty. <laughs> you kiss the shovel. Sounds a bit weird. Okay. Right. You're very talented. The ring you've made is perfect. It's not just good, it's perfect. Mm. Okay. Um, test your effectiveness. A training session is a must. You have this more whole things. thing is a training session. Go oh my on. god. No spine no, massive arms, blah, blah, blah. He's in the thing. He's up there yeah. doing yeah. his thing. So right. off we go. Just before you go, have you seen that every time you leveled, you got characteristic points? No. You have a characteristic point. Truthfully, bar I was not here. paying attention. If you press that, uh, you can drag that. So all your items give you 18 uh, vitality, so that has been added to your count, mm -hmm. so you have more okay. vitality. Just now, do you remember the spells you had? What elements they were? There was a blue one, there was um, a brown one. Do I remember the spells? Yes. yes, yes, I remember the spells. Yes, 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 yes. So you can always find them here. You had yep, coin yep, throwing. Yep, yep. Oh, now I have shovel kiss. Now we have shovel kiss, which is oh. an intelligence. So you have the four elements. I don't elements. enjoy saying it, but what does it do? You have four elements. Water, mm -hmm. uh, the soil, the ground, the brown one, yep. the fire, which is yep. the red one, and the Ooh. air, which is the agility one, which you don't have any of uh, yet. Okay. So for these... They have characteristics mm. that affect how much damage you deal using these. Okay. So if you have more chance, you deal higher damage with anything that hits in chance. Okay. And now you have some points to spend. Ten. Oh. What spell do you like the most so far? Um, well... Knowing that you've acquired a new one that hits one to four cells. I seem to have had quite a lot of success with the throwing a big lump of earth one. Okay. That's but strength. I am curious to experiment with the shovel one. Okay, you can. And it's got bit better range, hasn't it? So but, this but one the critical has the most range. is only 5% on that. Does that ah, mean it's less strong? Forget about the critical is the base, how much the spell has as a minimum 5% chance to crit and deal more damage. Uh, but then surely do you want the highest percentage yes. on that, yeah. that, you can, that you can. So this one has the highest 25% base. Mm -hmm. But it can only go to three. Yeah. 
you can all, it, it hits and pretty close. And you can close. cast it twice per turn per yeah, target. Yeah, and it, okay, and it steals okay, one MP, by okay. the way. It gives you one movement point. This one so you, you have can three. Use it three times, you don't use one. Okay. When okay. you cast it once on something, you have one extra movement point that you can use. Mm. So, which element do you want to bolster ahead of this fight? So, you have uh, points that you've won by leveling, yeah. and you have elements that you can bolster. You can be stronger, oh. you can have more chance, yeah. more agility, or more intel. And these directly affect the spells. Oh, so do they make me better at some of these? They increase the damage of the spell. So if you have oh, more strength, okay. your strength... Where can I see the amount of damage it's going to cause? Is that in the effect bit? It's when you start the fight that you will see how right. much the final damage is. Okay. But you can increase it now before you start the fight. So for this one, how do you know what you need more of? It's earth damage. And the color gives but it away. But these don't say earth. Do it's strength is earth. You can see the little symbols. Right. I mean, so do I just have to learn that? So strength is earth. Yeah. Why Water aren't they just called the same? Chance. They're the same color. Yeah, but why aren't they just called the same? Because those are the elements. Mm. And these are the stats that affect the elements. Okay, so I want more of, of that because I want to use the shovel thing. The kiss. You want to use the intelligence one? Yeah. Okay. The no, new one that you've do got. I not? No, no. It's I just want to try the new one. Go on, give it more points. Thanks for so the follow, Neo. Just give it points. Yeah, so you have 10 points to spend. One point equal one intelligence extra. Okay. So you click the pluses, plus, plus, plus. I'm sorry, how many points do I ten. have to use up? You have 10 and you've used that up That seems two. like a lot. As in, like, I don't want to use them all on one thing, do I? Or do I? You can distribute them. But this early on, because you have so few points, mm. it's best to best concentrate to them on one, one element and right. then focus on that. <gasps> ten. Confirm. Confirm. Now we have ten intelligence. I am very intelligent. That's so mm. true. Yeah. yeah. So now, if you close out of all of this, <laughs> yeah. you have a fight that will that you will be starting now. Is it this Boogerman? Yes, but you have to speak with that guy first. Oh, it's a little kitty. Celestial Acrocat. <laughs> now that I like. Okay. That is the first name Close I like. Close out of this. Celestial Astro. Yeah. If we ever do get a cat, it is going to be named Celestial Astrocat. <laughs> wow. Acrocat? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> right. Anyway, sorry. What happens now? Yeah. So you need to speak with that chap because he has the question mark on top of his head. Oh, what are these people saying down here, though? Also. It's a community channel where people can okay. discuss. So you don't need to be mindful right. of that yet. Gold Digger Gran, aren't you? I've been expecting you. It feels rude when someone else says it to me. <laughs> um, la, 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 la. Okay. Approach one of the creatures to provoke it. Yeah. I just did. Yeah, go on. Uh, start fighting. Nice. So now you have more. <gasps> oh, now I'm fighting two at once. Yeah. Oh, shit. So the Intel one, the, the red spell that you have, yeah. that you've, you've boosted now, mm -hmm. you need to get close to use it because it has small range. So perhaps get closer. Okay. Or you can stay there. I'm just going to do this one. Mm -hmm. and Without you any shush. input. Okay. Shush. And I'm just going to do it. Oh, God. Uh. Okay. I'm going to move to here. And then I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to go kaboom. Hmm. And then I'm gonna go with this also over here. You can't. I reach can't because I've only done. You can hit the oh, other I'm one. Oh, I'm gonna as well, just sorry. do this one again. I panicked. You've got one movement now too. Ah, uh, what do you, you mean? Can run away. I, oh, too late. Watch your movement points because you can use you them. You said to... you weren't gonna interfere. Ah, yeah, I haven't. You can critique afterwards. Mm -hmm. What's happening now? Uh, uh, no, you don't tell me. <laughs> oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh bollocks! Can I move between them? Because I want to get this guy. Oh man. Okay, okay, okay. Abort, abort. I can't use this again, can I? Or can I? It looks like I can. Okay, and now we're going to do this one. And I can't reach this guy, can I? You don't have line of sight <gasps> on it. Oh, fuck. This is stressful. It's going to kill me. It's already killed me. I'm dead. No, it hasn't. You still have 73 points. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do I move? That's the thing I'm kind of lacking you click right on now. The map. Oh, for fuck's sake. I just did, there but I had the. the green thing. Yeah, That's but I moment. moved the bloody earth thing instead, didn't I? Because I thought that was. Oh, <laughs> right. Oh, right. Okay. I've still got time. I've still got time. Yeah. You, you are Can I do zero. that one? Oh, no. What? What? I've got no points. I've got no. <laughs> right. <laughs> Did I lose? Not yet. You Am I dead? 69. Not now yet. 60. Now 60. Now 54. Oh, fuck. They deal damage. All no. right. Oh, God. I hate this. I thought this would be quick. 
Oh, fuck. It's Whoa, you've killed one. Oh, thank fuck for that. Right. <laughs> Let's go Language, over here. please. Why? What's wrong with... When the situation arises, you need to... There we go. That's it. Okay. You've used... No, not yet. It's oh, not finished. God. What? You said that's it? And then Your I relaxed. Your turn is finished. Right. Here we go. And then you can have the big mound of earth, kitty. Take that. Let's go! You won the fight. <sighs> <laughs> GG, well played. <laughs> oh, God. I genuinely, my stress levels are through the roof. Right. Can you, before I speak to this question marky guy, mm. what should I have done better? What was, what's your, like, as in, just give me some c constructive feedback. So you have to understand that it's a turn-based thing. Yeah. So they get their turn. Mm -hmm. They have 30 seconds. They use their spells. And everyone is constrained by how many movement points they have and mm. action points they have. When mm. you use all of them, you can only pass your turn. Mm. So what you want to do is play to your strength. Right. <laughs> you Cat got smoked. Yay, yeah, did Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> so when you have six AP, mm. you want to use your strongest element. So you've bolstered the intelligence one right. but you've used a lot of the strength one it's not it's not bad yeah. it deals damage but not as much as the, the other main one reason i kept using it was because it was the only one that would reach yeah and i didn't the thing that i didn't understand is you know when the two little creatures were like here and here mm -hmm. and i couldn't get to the back one think I, about it if i'm in front of you yeah can you reach yeah. anything behind me here's my thing it's called line of sight no i get it ah, okay. i understand why i couldn't reach the other <laughs> <Okay>. one <laughs> it's to... called line of sight fuck yeah. you that's what but, it is <laughs> all right. uh, but um <laughs> Sass. i sorry i am feeling quite <laughs> fragile because i feel like i didn't do very well you did you won shouldn't the fight. take out on you, you sorry the fight. um right sorry so the thing i didn't get was mm -hmm. can the one that's behind um should I just, in that situation, should you just like focus on the one that's first mm -hmm. because and get rid of him and mm -hmm. then focus on the other one? Yeah. Or should you strategy. try and fight them both at once? You can if you want and feel Do you confident open in yourself doing that. up to risk if you do that? You're giving me extremely unhelpful answers. Well, the thing is, depending on that, that fight, for example, yeah. it's easier to just focus one, yeah. get it out of the way, mm -hmm. and then it's one versus one. Easier yeah. to manage. Yeah. Mm. And the only thing I'd say is. Know your spells before you start a fight. Mm. So, for example, if you wanted to play from a very big distance, yeah. you could have used this one. It's up to eight cells you can uh -huh. hit. Okay. But it doesn't deal as much Ooh, damage as the other. I didn't know other. that. I hadn't really clocked that. Okay. Mm. So this one, this is why you couldn't hit the one that was far away, because it's only three maximum. Okay. This one has one extra cell. Yeah. Up to four. Yeah. So you could use it from further away. Yeah. So this one that deals the Wait, most damage. Wait, go back down. Mm-hmm. Does not require line of sight. That one doesn't. Okay. Thought you said it did. The, this one is the one you're trying to, to <laughs> hit. And this one does need line of sight. Okay. This one also needs line of sight. All right. Um, okay. Anything else? But okay. I feel like I should take away from that. Um, Movement points. Yeah. You use them by moving your mouse on the floor on the mm. ground on the map and then you click where you want to go and it's ideal ideally you want to run away oh, from them so, so they the, use the other thing that i found hard you. is mm. um coordination if you like so like when i want to move i need mm. to click on the map mm. but if you've already kind of selected a, a weapon then it will throw the weapon at that thing ah, and you can then undo sometimes that by clicking. i thought i had selected the weapon and i tried to do it mm. but i hadn't and i had to go click the thing and then go back and click yeah. the thing so i just need to practice I think. yes yeah so um, you click a spell yeah. and then it will show you where you can play. So if you want to cancel that, you just click anywhere else mm. and then you're back to just using your movement points. Okay. So you can click out of it. Okay. Okay. You've done All it. Right. Now you speak back to the guy who oh, has a yeah. question Oh yeah. Now mark. I get the nice bit where he just tells me I'm great. You've made it through the last yeah. fight. Yeah. And he's going to congratulate me as well. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Down the steps I go. Hi, Gally Mead. I understand you handled yourself. Very well. <laughs> Why, thank you. I did. <laughs> and now hey, I'm Hey, you got more characteristic points you can use. Okay. I feel like at this rate, I will be 200 in about an hour and a half because it is going through them quite fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Unless Darren logs one of his character and takes you to a higher level dungeon. No. I mean... <laughs> so All now right. you've gained some characteristic points you can use. Okay. 
And now I do that thing again where I top it up. Yeah, and you choose which element okay. you want to top up. What Is it just the one or? Me? Look Should at you your spells. Do, would you try and have it like even? Okay, so hang on a minute. Early on, hang it's on best minute, to focus on one kind. So this is the coin throwing thing. It deals this very is water, few damage. So I need more chance. Big distance. I need more chance. Okay. Top I'm it up. I'm gonna do that, and I've got five points. So I'm gonna put them all on red. Yeah. There we go. Nice. So you've got a bit more yeah. chance. Okay. And a bit more intelligence. And as Astro away. said earlier, every point you add here increases mm -hmm. the base damage by one percent. Mm -hmm. So in the fight, because mm -hmm. like, you know I added ten to my intelligence. Yeah. I didn't like lose these points in the fight, no. did I? No, you start with them. So once you add them to here, mm. they're there, and that's yes. and they just increase. They increase your own spells. So this one, for example, can, anything can you hover on top can, of it? Yeah. So it deals eleven to fourteen mm -hmm. at random, mm -hmm. and we said every point is one percent mm -hmm. extra damage. So let's say you have a hundred intelligence. Yeah. That means it doubles the base of this. It becomes twenty-two ah, to twenty-eight. Okay. So that's why you add and top All up right. points, so you can better the spell damage itself. Okay. Um, cool. Okay. Did I get congratulated by everybody that wanted to congratulate me? <laughs> yes. I'm very keen to um, <laughs> ensure that no. that happens. Um, search for answers. You can either start a quest because he has an exclamation point on his head, or you can ask to leave and then go and explore the world. Oh, I don't know. Which one do you want to do? He has a quest to offer you that will give you rewards mm -hmm. and make you better uh, at your level. I'm quite a sort of um, methodical person. Yeah, quest. But what happened? What would happen if I approached this game mm -hmm. in the, men the, the, the mentality that I instinctively want to, mm -hmm. which is I would fulfill every single thing in every area before I moved on. Like if that there's a quest one to do, I would like, do it playing. and then move on. Like, Some people the... play it like that. Like Kaz plays yeah. exactly like that. Okay. I don't understand that personally. Why? Why do you, what's your disagreement with it? Because I see, first thing I do is have a vue d'ensemble, an, an eagle view of the yeah. game. And then I decide which areas of interest to me, rather than go following okay. the... Yes, that normal. again, that does check out in terms of you yeah. <laughs> as a person. So I will find a way to get to the most interesting bits and do a lot of that so I can get yeah. my own satisfaction. Remarkable. But the best way to play the game and to grow is to follow it methodically because you know more about the story. Yeah. You level up incrementally and slowly. Mm. And you never face something too difficult or mm. too easy. And Ganym Ganymede makes a good point. Uh huh. Those who want to fulfill their destiny must know who they really are. Yeah. Do you know who you really are? No, that is a really difficult <laughs> question. I'm a bald in eight. I'm bald in man. <laughs> I'm not balding. So. Right. Oh, there's an egg. That must Hold be on. a good thing. Hold Why don't on. I so, click the egg? So I want the to click. I've clicked it. It's happened. Okay. The six primordial dofus. Sorry, what were you going to tell me? Well, I fine. got too excited. I will tell you after this. Go okay. on. It was an what egg. is this telling The you? whole thing's about eggs. Mm. I thought I'd won. Like so. the whole thing. So what is it telling you here? Um, it's telling me about some eggs, the, the different six, types of egg. Six primordial. I like that. I like that element. Okay. So each one is made by a uh -huh. dragon. Oh, nice. Forest, I like dragons too. white dragon, okay. the black dragon. Each mm -hmm. one has made an egg that has special powers. Okay. Cool. So just before, can you close that? Yeah. So before you interact with things, you've started a quest yeah. to know more about what is it asking from ah. you. You can go to your... The quest... Oh, I just... Okay, scroll sorry. Back. <laughs> yeah. Your quest tab. Um, what is this asking before you? Before leaving the celestial... I've left there. Mm -hmm. Moved on this, from the celestial This is it. You are here. Can you oh, see at the top? sorry. No, I've not left, left there. It tells My you bad. where you are. Don't forget to honor your god as you pass. Okay. Um, find out more about your identity. Find about your objective. Find out about your destination. So, because okay. you've read the thing about the six primordial dofus, it has ticked to find them. Uh, your right. So, what is your objective in this game? To the game of dofus as a whole. Yeah. To get the eggs. To gather the six primordial dofus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To get the eggs. To yeah. get the eggs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you say it like that, ooh, ooh, to get the eggs. Go to the supermarket. Cool come story. Back. <laughs> your name just said an omelet. <laughs> Good to know. Thanks That's for sharing. That's one out of six. <laughs> Was it cheese, ham? We need more details. You're close. So you need to find out more about your identity and destination. So here you found out about your goal. So now what I'm going to go over to this, this book over here. And maybe Ooh. that's going to tell me who I really am inside my soul. Oh. oh. In Karnam and the world of 12. Yeah. That's just a map. That is a map. This is the world Where's of 12. Where's the... Uh, you said there was like a heart-shaped island. Ah, Nimaltopia. Yeah, where's that? 
Is it called uh, Nimaltopia? Ah, uh, yeah, the animal uh, utopia. It's here. Oh, cute. Okay. So this is in Karnamore you are. Right. Oh, and that's just that one above. little island thingy. It's a floating island okay. above the real world Ooh, of Oh, carrot. Troy. There's a little carrot yeah, there. Yeah, there's a, a rabbit Where's island. Where's Spongebob? I heard that there's a Spongebob ripoff somewhere. We can go and pay him a visit if you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So this is the map that you have to explore. Okay. This is where and you're going. And you can going. go anywhere yeah. in there at, that you want. Yeah. So it, I don't want to, but if I wanted now or when I finished this thing mm. to just go somewhere completely random, not where the weird eagle eagle guy is suggesting yeah. I go next. Yeah, you can. Okay. The thing about quests is you don't need to follow them. You can start them and just forget about them and okay. play the game however you want. That's not how I approach life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you found out two things. <laughs> okay, I know that where thing. you're going, Sorry, yeah. the world you need to explore. Yeah. What is your objective? There's one more item you need to find and interact with. Hmm... Is it this thing? You've you've hovered on top of it earlier. Mm, You're this searching thing. for answers. That one. There you go. What is All that right. tablet telling fervent you? Fervent disciple. I didn't mm. say I was fervent. <laughs> I'd say mildly interested. Bow before the statue of Enutroph. Certainly not. He knows who I am. He never takes his eyes off me. He's a bit creepy. <laughs> um, knows what's hidden in my heart. Okay. I'm a hero. I am a hero though. That's fair. You've got a destiny to accomplish. Uh, legend begins now. Write your history, blah, blah, blah. World of Twelve is waiting for me. Right, okay. So far, all I've done is read things. Is that right? I thought you've interacted with all of them. Okay, can I now go now? He, now he's uh, oh, ready right. to... The retain. training is complete. Okay, so that was just like a little... Look at this. He's oh, giving you a final go. He's fucking out. This is interminable. Right. Oh, well, thank you. He did say... May the gods watch over you. And you're nice. leveled. Right, you're, you're so... You've done the tutorial so now. So you have to do the things to get to level up, do you? You what have to What if I'd have just said, no, I don't need the answers, thanks. And then good. the quest will not finish and you won't get the points for it. And I won't get to level up. Yep. So you've You can to level do... up somewhere else. You can do uh, a different quest. Okay. Or you can just fight uh, monsters outside. All right. So you click okay. off that. Okay. Choose your combat challenges. Mm -hmm. So when you start uh, a fight... You now can choose whether you want the bonus for things that you drop. So loot that you get out of yeah. monsters. Uh -huh. Or better XP. That means you level up faster. Okay. You want to accumulate more things? What's the benefit of loot versus the benefit of more XP? Do you remember the ring you made earlier? Yeah. What did you require for it? Iron. Yeah. So these are things that are part of recipes for other items that you craft. So you can either, every item has a recipe. Mm. And some recipes come from fighting monsters. And in order to mm. drop things when you kill the monsters, you can increase that by choosing the prospection one, the drop. This guy wants to talk to me. He has, this is the first proper quest. Okay. So shall we put a stop to it? Are you, are you confident and comfortable with the start of the game? I think so. Yeah. Can you summarize yeah. for me what we've done today from the creation, what sorts of class there are? What, what is it for you compared to the games that you know? Mm, okay. Mm. Um, okay, so I'm very conscious of a lot of people listening who okay. know the game. <laughs> yeah, okay. But um, <laughs> if I had to explain it to somebody, I'm going to pretend that I'm telling my friend Rachel about it, who also probably <laughs> has as much knowledge of gaming as <laughs> I do. So I would say it's like a fantasy realm mm -hmm. where you are trying to um, collect a number of dragon eggs. Mm -hmm. And you, as you do that, you kind of level up. And there are 200 levels to get through. Mm -hmm. And you can go on quests and you can fight opponents. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, you have to... Sometimes you have to, like, collect items or build items... Mm -hmm. Um, I'm guessing you can also buy items. Yeah. If outright. someone makes them and sells them, then you can... Uh... And you... Uh, I'm struggling now. And there's an extremely unnecessarily complex um, hierarchy of, like, different spells and elements and skills and characteristics and mm. fucking psychographic tendencies and whatever <laughs> else that go into making whether you um whether you do well or not yeah that's, that's very good yeah it's a turn-based thing in essence uh-huh every fight from this first one you've done in the tutorial to the end game one for the very good people that are in the mm. game it's all turn-based 
So everyone has a turn. Mm -hmm. Everyone gets a chance to do something with it. Mm -hmm. And the goal is to win. And you have a toolkit per yeah. class. Mm -hmm. And the other people have also a toolkit that they use. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to outsmart them by knowing more about theirs or mm. by Wait, deploying. So just mm. For these spells, mm. is it only... <clears throat> Sorry, I just swallowed an entire raisin. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's in my lungs now. <laughs> Are these spells mm. that um, the uh, little granny mm? is able to cast? Mm -hmm. Can all the other, can some of the other classes also use those, or are those just for her? Just for her. What the fuck? Yeah. How did they also think of? So how many spells are there that she can use? Is it just those ones? No, no there's so many of them that oh she can my use. Here is the full. Is list. there no crossover between the different? Classes. No, there are similarities in what the spell can do. I just do, think that's inefficient. Every, that is every insane. Every class has its own. How on earth do you guys get your heads around that? Because if there are like a hundred different spells that just this one person can, one character can it's do, not quite hundred. And then there's yeah. nineteen characters, classes. and they all have. That's the marvel of the game. Dozens of spells, yeah, yeah. and then not just that, but in order to actually cast the spells, you've got like six different, uh, like what are they called, skills or whatever. That you have to pony up for on before each. There's just it's a lot. It's 44 spells. I'm per sounding character. quite angry. I'm not. <laughs> I just 16 years of playing and no life. social life helps. Yeah. <laughs> we don't ask about hugs. I have no idea. It's incredible that you had time to get a degree and a wife. Frankly. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So right. now it's all jokes. I think that my brain's about to explode and yeah. I've kind of like had enough for today. That is, is great. That okay? That's a great start. This is your character. I've enjoyed it. The thing about, you've asked me this earlier. Yeah. You don't need to play with any sort of uh, frequency. You can right, just close your account. Right, that was the only thing I was going to say. And then you come back, you'll find her here. Yeah. With the same spells. So no one's going to pick a fight with me when I'm not there and no, kill me. No, you, you, you exit the server, so nothing can be uh, done or happen okay. with your character. That's it. It's just off the server. I kind of like that aspect of it. You can just dip in and out. Yeah. It's quite nice. Yeah. It kind of feels like you're playing for yourself as well. It's not like... Yeah. Like... You're trying to like get... look at these two guys. These are two people that have joined the same fight against one monster. Yeah. So for example, Kaz or Darren mm. could be in their own house. Yeah. Log in and have a character. I have a character, and then we can collaborate to fight something that is harder than us that I can't do on my own. Mm. You can come and give me a hand. Right. And now yeah. your class is very good at the at removing the enemy's movement points. Yeah. Right. Or mm. it deals big damage with this strength one. I yeah. don't have it in my class. Okay. So I, I, thought you, uh, I don't have it because I play the archer. So I'll invite uh, you to join me. And then you can use this spell that I don't have to But you to do have me. another granny, don't you? I do I, I do play the grandma, yeah. Mm. I what's, have a grandpa. what's your one called? Scotch Whiskey. Okay, what are your other characters called? Uh, there's only two themes. I've made a video about it on YouTube. Two themes that I use for my uh, characters. Mm -hmm. it's, Is it uh, alcohol and more alcohol? No. Guess the other one. Uh, finance? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I have Jack Bogle. <laughs> and single malt, sherry cask, oh, and yeah. scotch whiskey. Okay. <laughs> These are my four nice. characters. I feel like Jack Bogle is the odd one out there, <laughs> yeah. actually. I do have another one that I play on occasion called Boglehead. It's quite a good name, isn't it? It's a silly name, Bogle. <laughs> <Yeah>. Bogle. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So now. All right. Thank you, everybody, for bearing with me and for your patience and your help. Um, I'm going to leave you guys to it now. <laughs>